These are the ones that ZZ and I have um, <clears throat> put some pumpkins. Apparently the ones that we put in Dundee are doing awesome. So I thought I'd just... We went to go and collect some pumpkins and some butternut earlier um, by the community garden and uh, where they were they were ripening. So we went along to the community garden and we were walking around the garden and Zizi was inspired to to plant some of his own um, vegetables. He decided that gardening was one of his favorite things to do. And so Dave being the dad that he is, he encouraged that. And they went and chose some seeds and Dave was busy building. No dig. A no dig little Garden. bed in the forest, just by a cabin. Just, uh, hopefully, um, yeah, just get a bit more soil. Needs to be a little deeper. And then the plugs we've made, those cardboard ones, the egg ones, they're going great. And I've kind of landscaped a little bit back here because I'm hoping to get rainfall wash into this because I'm not expecting it to be watered if I'm not here. But um, the way I've designed it is that it kind of will step down through these rocks, hopefully the water, and it will and nourish. I'm trying to minimize the alkalinity because it's, there's a lot of alkaline going on here. But that's all good. It's good fun. I'll come a little closer just so you can see it a little bit better. So you, no dig? It's not that big and I made it so that you can kind of reach around it and garden in this space, you know. It doesn't need to be too big. So cardboard so and... I then... had some potting soil for the seeds. So we are trying something with the pumpkin seeds, just putting them in straight from the pumpkin, not drying them. We'll see how that works out. Awesome. Got me a little no dig experiment going on up here because it's really harsh conditions to grow. Uh, under the eucalyptus, the amount of root activity down here, so stuff falling from above is hard to avoid, but I'm looking to insulate the seedlings from the soil below, and hopefully they grow through strong enough. I'll show you the pots now. Had a bit of a, video, a, water, pipe, a water pipe issue here, and uh, this was dripping out, and I was using it to kind of keep my milk, a bottle of, I had a litre of milk from the cows just up the road yesterday, and uh, I want to keep it cool with the dripping water. Now the, the, the bees were enjoying the water, but this broke out completely today. So Joe and I fixed it. And now these bees are a little bit bereft because there's no water down here. I came and spilled some water here a minute ago just to kind of give them something. But they're going to have to find a new watering hole, huh? So Zizi and Daddy have chosen some seeds. And we're using the egg box boxes to germinate them in so they will go into the no dig bed so Dave's um, preparing the fire for dinner um, this is the outside area that they cook and people will eat meat to eat for dinner especially when they're having a larger crowd which they have because we have an equinox event here so Dave is, is preparing the fire for the cooking well lighting and then cooking yeah, there's an artistic expression going on here with this tree stump and a um, little, you know, forest fire beneath the trunk. Um, there's loads of symbolism could be taken from that. So, hey, I'm going to light this up. Yeah, I think that's probably fair to say that's taken. That's a pretty big chunk right there. Looks kind of small in the, in the pit, but uh, no, that's good. And, um, oh well. Just hand over the coals to the, the cooks. Was there some